visible paint visible yes. to you afar okay yes. fine sir i bands are actins right i bands yes yes very good they are actin fiber and these green color band which is Myo the mid of a band the green color band which is the mid of, mid of the a band they are the myosin right okay so so this was all uh, which we studied now how does this sliding filament theory takes this means how does the sliding filament is a theory actually of half which explain how does the sliding of sliding of this when we contract our muscles then muscles slide in right when we contact contract muscle muscles slide in when we relax muscle muscles slide out that's mechanism is de described or mentioned by a theory which is most acceptable theory this is called sliding filament so we are going to study sliding filament clear okay how does it takes place everything have been explained in this diagram i have made it like it have not been copied these all diagrams which i have made by my own hand it have not been copied from from any source it these this mechanism i have just um, like made by myself right so i i expect that you have to draw this as it is right suppose that if you get the question from sliding filament theory in case if you draw only this diagram it is more than sufficient right so you have to understand oh, each 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 one by uh, step by step right so i'm going to start right in case okay. if you feeling problem anywhere then you have to, i'll explain i will elaborate that point right more okay first what happened you know that suppose that our hand muscle our leg muscle or any of our body muscle have to contract then what will happen our brain will order suppose that i touched any hot object so a order will come from the brain to my backbone from backbone to particular neuron and particular motor neuron will order my hand muscle to pull it back or contract the muscle muscle will contract and i will pull back hand and this phenomenon will happen in fraction of second you know that yeah how does it take place the ending of neuron the ending of neuron that is called axon end that reaches or that touches to muscles right so look it is written over here there is a motor neuron the motor neuron will bring impulse mean it will bring order this is the axon end when order will come what will happen that the calcium it will start absorbing calcium from outside which one this axon will start absorbing calcium ion from outside means from ecm extra cellular fluid means the fluid which is present outside of the cell from there it will start absorbing calcium first thing after absorbing of calcium ion there are certain vesicles these vesicles are filled with a neurotransmitter that is a chemical and this name of this neurotransmitter for example is acetyl acetylcholine this acetylcholine or neurotransmitter it will the vesicle vesicle means bubble like structure small small bubble like structure they with which is filled with acetylcholine these vesicle will start moving down now the first number is written over acetylcholine neurotransmitter filled vesicle they will bust and release the transmitter due to entry of calcium ion from extra cellular fluid these vesicle will reach at the end and they will bust and acetylcholine will be released in extra cellular fluid is it clear yes there second important thing factual thing or static thing which you need to understand this is the muscle which have to slide between the muscle and the ending of neuron means axon end this part is called motor plate right or this is called neuromuscular junction means the joint or junction between a muscle and axon is called motor plate 
और न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर जंक्शन क्लियर Is that clear? <clears throat> Tell me. You are not audible to me. I am able to listen to you. Hello. Hello. Yeah, for you was not audible to me. Yeah, my internet turned off. So okay, no issue. So <clears throat> so this is called neuromuscular junction or junctional or motor plate. Clear? Yes. Now neuromuscular junction or motor plate, right? Between there, there is still choline will choline will spread. Now at the surface of muscles. there are certain receptor which are made up of protein these are called protein receptors right now come to the muscular part you know that inside the muscles there are two kind of the fiber actin or myosin fiber other than actin and myosin fiber there are some these tube like structure this tube like structure this one these tube like structure this tube like structure this uh, uh, these are called t tubulin right they are vertical and horizontal tubulin they are called sarcoplasmic reticulum sarcoplasmic reticulum are filled with calcium ion right they remains filled with calcium ion now what will happen acetylcholine will be released from the axon and this acetylcholine will be received by these receptor when acetylcholine is received by receptor it reaches inside then what will happen the sarcoplasmic reticulum which have stored calcium ion they are also called l tubulin calcium ion released when acetylcholine reaches to the reticulum clear uh receptor protein accepts choline and it takes exactly. in exactly they will allow so them what to happens? go inside they will allow they will receive the uh, acetylcholine and they will allow this compound this chemical to go inside the muscle after okay. going inside to muscle acetylcholine will reach to sarcoplasmic reticulum okay when when acetylcholine will reach to cytoplasmic reticulum these reticulum what are these reticulum they have stored calcium they will release out the calcium okay right this was the second i have written every step second step it was right now come to the third step what will happen now we know that g actin have a part that is called active site of myosin binding site clear remember g actin uh, yeah yeah it was unit of f actin right clear so yes. g actin g actin have a site which is called active site for myosin binding site but it cannot actin cannot bind with myosin because this site have been masked by the which one troponin yeah tropomyosin and troponin troponin have three unit t sub unit c sub unit i sub unit inhibiting calcium binding remember yes right now this calcium ion which have been released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum will bind at c site of troponin they will lead to change in the configuration or structure of tropomyosin now they have change in fourth step they have change when it have change active site active site is exposed when active site is exposed now this actin will bind with myosin and due to binding with the myosin what will happen muscle will start contracting Okay. Clear? Potassium binds with troponin subunit, the C exactly. subunit, or all right. of them. Then the it will the configuration will change, and the mask site which has been hide by which has been hide by tropomyosin, and because of hiding of this site, 
the bonding between actin and myosin in do not takes place means cross bridge formation do not takes place and sliding do not takes place when the site will be exposed the bonding between actin and myosin will take place means cross will be cross bridge will be formed and muscle contraction will start okay so what i say that please take the screenshot of this one right okay and draw it as it is Sir, do you think okay. it's a good idea if i like draw it and paste it on the walls uh, so that you know, i remember uh, you know if if you will go through with it right i need not to draw anything Uh, like okay. you do not to like uh, is is uh, study you will remember it i i know that just draw this diagram and uh, go through with it at least five times okay Taken. Taken the screenshot. Yes. Okay. Did I remove it? Okay. So now we should go to the. Seven. Yeah. What was that? Seven B or C? Seven B. Seven B. Seven B. Skeletal muscle. We did it. Sliding. This is the type of muscle. This is the muscle, right? Multinucleated I band, A band. Everything is there, right? Same thing I have explained, right? So Sir, the, the actin, uh, the I band, I band is the actin, right? I band. Yeah, that is made up of actin. Yeah, uh, and uh, the F actin um, structure that you showed me is the structure of I band, right? Sorry, sorry, again. The F actin structure that you showed me. Yeah, that's what the I band looks like, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because that is the major component. That is major component, the larger one, micro one, right? Uh, types of skeletal muscles. Slow twitch. Yes, we did it. We did it. How does the muscle contract? That's what we did. Yes, it is written everything. Now you will get each and everything. Globular head, linear polypeptide chain means heavy myosin, light myosin. Actin myosin interaction, right? This was the sliding filament theory. Now, <coughs> every topic is scattered here and there. Everything is given. I don't know what is the sequence of this chapter. I'm really unable to understand. Really, I actually have studied heart in the first uh, three units. Yeah, yeah. So I don't really understand the point of studying it again in this unit. Exactly, but you know, it's a, no point to mention it over here, right? So, uh, are you uh, like, um, do you aware with this this concept? No, now now that, that I see uh, this image, uh, I can say that these are the points that I did not study in unit one, two, three. Okay, I'll tell you. How the heart will control. Next topic is how the heart will control. 
and i have to tell you ecg you know this is the we uh, there is a separate part in like our syllabus so that is uh, ecg i have to teach you ecg then the principle of hemostasis uh, let me let me let me teach you first the you know this is part of 11th class and there is a separate chapter for you so for it circulation so the reader reader says that um the head um has no. adp and pi attached to it okay and it binds to troponin look 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 yes yes let me clear with you that so. yes yes there is one more thing which is left i need to tell you yes yes the last diagram is left look what will happen this is the masked actin protein right yes when the actin protein be unmasked right unmasked what will happen atp will atp will come at atp site neuromycin head atp will break down into adp bond formation will take place this energy will be used to pull the muscles right right okay and extra energy will be used to again uh, uh, make this head of uh, straight and then it will lack pulled back that's how it will happen wait so atp comes it breaks down then it attaches to the head right and then the head attaches to the unmasked uh, unmasked actin right exactly exactly and Look, then what yeah, happens happens look uh this is this is this is the uh this was this one the actin this is the myosin right what will happen okay. unmask bond formation take place atp broke down what we atp will it will pull back right okay pull back after pulling back extra energy will have used to so what will happen look this one bond formation pulling it back extra energy will make it straight again got it uh no look. bond formation unmask bond formation atp breakdown bond formation between what bond formation with actin and myosin okay and who will form the bond myosin okay this is myosin this is actin this is actin this is myosin this is myosin head bond formation take energy it will pull it back okay that's how the sliding will take place so atp comes and uh, myosin takes energy from atp right and so with ATP, the help of that it binds when when, we, when, we, actin. when when we pull muscles then the energy is wasted right if you are holding something right yeah. what will happen atp will go keep on because muscles are contract so atp will spend when complete atp will be, will be drained out then what will happen you will lose holding right okay. got it or not yes then again what you have to do you have to go through with the animation right okay okay yes uh look wait wait in case if i see the animation i'll i'll send you right so i'll do it Okay. 
Mm. I will send you a half, right? I'll search a good okay. animation, right? I'll send you. Okay. Actually, you know, um, I have low bandwidth, so uh, that is not capable of. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I will see you after the class, right? So what okay. I was telling you, uh, how does the bus, how does the uh, Student body heartbeat. Yes, origin of heartbeat, right? How does the con this time? Okay. So, how does the origin of heartbeat takes place? Afaf, is it visible to you on your screen? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Look, how does the origin of heartbeat takes place? Look. Uh, Look, this is the this is the oracle. This is the right oracle. You know, this is the left uh, left oracle. This is right ventricle. This is left ventricle. Right. So these green color structures they are made up of basically neurons. So at the wall of right atrium or right oracle, there is a knot like structure. This is called SA node. SA node full form of SA node is sinoatrial node. Okay, Afaf, right? Okay. What happened from this SA node, a pulse originate. Means origin of pulse. Means origin of uh, stimulation takes place, right? What happened? This stimulation passes from here. This one, middle internodal tract, posterior internodal tract, right? That's helping contraction and relaxation of heart. Then here. Then it goes to the uh, one branch from here. It goes to where? It goes to left atrium. Clear? This is yes. called left atrium. Then what happened? There is another node. Another node which is present between auricle and means right auricle and right, right ventricle. Right? The name of this AV node, ario, ario ventricular node. What is the AV node or atrio ventricular node do? It is a branch. It branches out or it, or it branch out and spread it on the whole heart. Then what happened? There is a central part. The central part, the central fiber, it bifurcate into two parts, right? These are called bundle of bundle of his. These branches are called bundle of his. These branches further branches, and these branches spread everywhere, right? And they are these these branches which spread uh, on the wall of the heart. They are called Parkinje fiber. These spread everywhere. So origination of the origination of the impulse takes place uh, from SA node, which is called. Why it's called pacemaker? Because it maintains the pulse or it maintains the contraction and relaxation of the heart. So from SA node, a pulse originates. This pulse reaches to the AV node. From AV node, it is it is divided into uh, a, a thick cable, which run between the heart and the mid of the heart. That is called bundle of his. Bundle of his further branch out in the left and the right side. And it is spread on the whole heart. That is called Parkinje fiber. And with the help of this fiber, contraction and relaxation of heart takes place. That's how heart is controlled in our body. Tell me, is that clear or not? 
Uh, it is, but if this helps uh, to contract and relax the heartbeat, then doesn't our, our what I'm trying to say is that sorry? this heart, sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I know it's confusing, but what I'm trying to say is that uh, yeah, please tell me. Uh, <coughs> arterioles and ventricles, they are, they are the reason why we feel the heartbeat because they yeah, 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 contract yeah. and relax. Right, so how right, does right. this help with contraction and relaxation with the heart? Actually, where does the impulse come? Where does that, that current comes? That current comes from SA. That current is generated from the SA node. If the okay. current will not be there, then how the this heart will uh, pulsate? Who will give it energy? Okay. okay. That pulsation energy is generated in SA node. Got it? Okay. And you know. Uh, you must have reason that the particular person have open heart surgery and he got the pacemaker. Yeah. When this SA node, when this natural SA node damages, what happened? A artificial battery is put over here. That is called artificial pacemaker. Okay. Right? So, that current is generated from here. And our hide, like a, a hide brain, means backside brain, hide brain, small brain. Medulla oblongata is the part of brain which control this pacemaker or SA node. Okay, so this SA node comes uh, from medulla oblongata? No, no. This SA node remains interconnected, remains connected with the medulla oblongata. It's only in the heart. It doesn't extend to other organs, right? No, no, no. no. Yes. Okay. Exclusively a nerve from, from medulla oblongata come to the heart. Okay. Clear? Yes. Everything clear? No doubt? Yes, uh, but if medulla oblongata uh, controls this, yes. Uh, how does it have a connection if this is all in just the heart? Sorry? This um, pacemaker and... Uh, pacemaker control the 72 time permit that it maintain the pace as well. No, but the mind controls it. How? Mm. It sends signals? Heart is, heart, no, no, no. Heart is not controlled by mind. Actually, heart is controlled by two things. Okay. Hormones and the nerve of our brain. Okay. When you feel fear, yes. then what adrenaline is released? That increases yes. your heart rate. Right? Okay. And a small amount of this, uh, the regulation is also controlled by your brain. Okay. Right? Yes. Because when you sleep, right? Your yes. brain is sleep mode. Then your heart, reduce, heart rate reduces to half. You know that? Um. No, not really. Yeah, your heart rate, your uh, breathing rate, it, they all reduces to half. That is all your control by brain. Got it? Yes. So heart is controlled by two things. Hormonal control, means chemical control, as well as neural control, right? Okay. Yes. Is it clear, Afa? Yes. Right. Look. Heart sound. First is partially close to bicuspid and tricuspid valve. That is lump sound. That come five from partially closer up bicuspid and tricuspid valve and partially by contraction of muscles of ventricle. Second sound is dub sound. So what is the heart sound? Lub dub lub dub. That second yeah. sound is caused by the Closer of semilunar wall. That is dub sound. So the semilunar valve is in the the artery or the vein, right? Exactly, you're right. And the ones between the ventricles and um, arterioles, or oh, sorry, atriums are called bicuspid and tricuspid. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. Okay. Clear? Yes. Uh, sorry. Clear. Okay. Yes. Fine. So, what was the next one? Okay, ECG. The next topic was ECG. Electro. This this one. Remember? T wave, QRS wave, 
pure as complex and tedious. Mm. Yeah. This is also a good diagram. Phase of cardiac cycle, right? Okay. So when the P wave, you must have seen this this diagram in uh, the ECG in the hospital ECG machine. Have you seen that? You must have seen these in movies as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, and the same thing is uh, like this is called electrocardiogram, right? And it's a type of graph which is generated by computer after uh, taking the impulses of our heart, the current which is flowing in our Perkinje fiber and all that, right? So, uh, in this uh, ECG, there is one P wave, then Q, R, S, then T wave, right? What does it mean? P wave represent, when I explain after the, after, after explaining, you can take this screenshot, right? Okay. P wave explains that atrial depolarization. What is atrial depolarization? Atrial depolarization means atrial stone. Stole means contraction, means both of the auricle will contract or atrium will contract, right? Then P wave formation will take place. When atrium will contract, you know that when atrium will contract, what will happen? The blood will come from right atrium to right ventricle, then from right ventricle, uh, left ventricle, left atrium to left ventricle, right? Means from atrium, blood will come to the Oracle. Clear? Yes. yes. Then what is QRS complex? QRS complex is a ventricle depolarization. Then what will happen? Ventricle stole means ventricular contraction that pushes AV wall to close down this one. Blood. Now ventricles are filled with blood. When ventricles are filled with blood, they will put a pressure on the walls. Due to pressure, these AV valve, mean tricuspid and bicuspid valve will close. Clear? Yes. Yes. This is called QRS complex. Means QRS is represented by this one. Ventricular depolarization. So either you call it ventricular contraction or you call it ventricular systole or you call it QRS complex. Clear? Yes. Now what yes. is T wave? Now, Ventricular systole means semilunar wall will open and blood will be ejaculated. Where? Blood will go to? To the where? lungs. Very good. And to the body? Body. Right. Very good. Excellent. Right. Now, then again, what will happen? Again, it will come at its original position. Ventricular diastole. Now, the blood will start coming to auricle. Right? Then again, it will repeat P wave. Clear? Yes. So take this screenshot. This is the uh, systole and diastole, atrial systole and atrial diastole. Sir, when the... Actually, my problem with this chapter is always that whenever I'm giving given this graph of yeah. this... Okay. I, okay. I have difficulty understanding which is which, like which is arterial diastole and which one is systole. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, systole means contraction. Diastole, yeah. you know, diastole, yeah. dilate means what is dilate? Dilation means something is ex 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 expanding. Okay. Right? That's how you have to remember. Diastole, mean, diastole means something expanding. Stole means something contracting. That's how you have to remember. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you will go through with this diagram deeply, twice or thrice, then you will come to know because both of the thing have been given at the same time. Okay. Take this screenshot. Done, sir. Done? Yeah. Now come again to your PDF. What it says.
same thing is given kinje 5 and all that this one qrs complex p wave p wave right yeah. same thing this is called electrocardiogram right so this we have gone through this one sa note av note right perkinje fiber perkinje tissue all that you know what is the homeostasis uh studied this like 3 years ago so not really the homeostasis means bringing the body in the normal state right that is called homeostasis uh and volunteer nervous adrenaline just that, that that's what i was telling you yes how the heart is controlled medulla oblongata and adrenaline right look the same thing is given over here the same thing i'll tell you right before that go through with the homeostasis right what is the homeostasis let me read it out for you what is given over there look mammalian cells are very sensitive to change whatever happens in the life of a mammal for example high level of physical exercise extreme of external temperature internal conditions body must be controlled within the narrow range this dynamic equilibrium that involves the matching and the supply of oxygen and the glucose to continually changing the demand of demand of the body same time carbon dioxide must be removed and even the temperature or ph is maintained maintaining a state of dynamic equilibrium through the response of the body external and internal stimuli is known as homeostasis in the nutshell to keep the body in the balanced situation is called homeostasis that is okay. the very simple term right uh, homeostasis mechanism in the mammals include the system respond to the change in the both external and internal condition right like our body temperature should be controlled maintain 37 degree centigrade or 98.6 fahrenheit irrespective of the what is the temperature either it's 50 degree outside or it's a minus 10 or 20 degree outside right in both of the condition body changes something like nowadays it's very chilly outside so what is happening we are shivering by this way body is generating the heat we get the goosebumps by that that's how the body maintain uh, or uh, uh, save the internal heat right so there are certain hemius uh, conditions certain uh, positions postures behavior which can maintain the internal body temperature and this is the called homeostasis right yes the ph level of the body must be maintained so that the structural protein molecule this allow enzyme to function at their optimum actively and the structure of cell membrane to be maintained you saw how the transport of carbon dioxide away from the tissue or body control the ph of the blood and the body fluid the core temperature of the body needs to be stable and to maintain optimum actively of the enzyme that controls the rate of the cellular reaction as you learned that a stable temperature is very important to maintain the structure and function of the cell membrane so that they can control movement of the substance into and out the cell in human this temperature is around 37 degrees centigrade that's what we were talking the water protein of the body fluid must remain within the narrow limit and avoid the osmotic effect and could damage or destroy the cells you learned about the effect of osmotic changes homeostasis homeostasis involve a high level of coordination and control of the nervous and chemical control system that inter inter interact to maintain the dynamic equilibrium of the body sensor and receptor detect detect the change in the body and send effector effector means motor effector that either work reverse or change or increase the number of the different feedback system effector muscles feedback system what is the feedback system outside is cold and we get <clears throat> outside uh, 
this pool, uh, we, we, we get that. Uh, <clears throat> The communication homeostasis feedback system may be hormone, chemical messenger, by the nerve impulse, electrical messenger. Right? We learn more about the nerve hormone. So I uh, suppose that it's outside of the cold. So the neurons which are spread outside of the body surface, but they will do these neurons will these neurons will give the feedback. And after the getting the feedback, what will happen? These neurons will give the uh, message to brain. After message reaches to the brain brain start controlling each and everything and along with that hormones also help to control the body and that is called homeostasis that's how the temperature is maintained nowadays and the same is done at the summers when temperature is higher outside there is often a small overshoot or undershoot going beyond or not reaching to the deal level as the feedback system corrects and that also need to be corrected so that the level must be body system fluctuate right uh, slightly around the ideal level of dynamic equilibrium I means sometimes it is uh, like uh, above the equilibrium sometimes below the equilibrium it means sometime when we get the fever the temperature increases sometime when our body chills the temperature also reduces but it do not goes beyond our tolerable limit in some cases there are separate mechanism for controlling the change in the different directions this gives particularly sensitive response to the great degree of control. Example of control of blood sugar level. Negative feedback system. Most of the system in mammals are negative feedback system. They provide a way to maintain the conditions such as contract, such as concentration of substances within a narrow range. The receptor detects the change in the uh, conditions. This result, the effector being stimulated to restore the equilibrium. If concentration goes up, effector being down again. So what is that? Suppose that our body requires a particular amount of the potassium and the sodium level uh, uh, of ions inside our body. When an uh, optimum level of sodium and potassium is accumulated, then what will happen? Body will stop further taking off sodium and potassium inside our body. Right? That's how it checks. When, when the sodium potassium level falls down inside the ECF, what will happen? Body will start taking it from the food. So that's how the feedback mechanism works. That is given over here. Right. Normal. Rise in the higher level. Receptor detect the change. Communication by the hormones, by the nerve system coordination. Effector carries out the response and bringing out the corrective changes. Means it will throw away. Right. Fall down the level, means potassium, sodium, and fall, fell down. Receptor detect the changes. Communication by hormone or nervous system. What will happen? Effector will start working. They carry out, means they will start absorbing and again maintain the equilibrium. That's how the equilibrium is maintained in our body. Is it clear or not? Did you get yes. my point or not? Yes. Uh, sir, I wanted to ask people that have hormonal yes, issues, does the no. negative feedback get affected by it? exactly it damages their systems if if their hormonal issues are there definitely the, the system will and you know a person who have hormonal imbalances cannot run its body for that much longer so for suppose that uh, i have my life expectancy 65 year or 70 year uh, or 80 year whatever right so uh, it is it is already designed by the nature that what is my life expectancy for sake of example suppose i'll i'll live for 70 years now what is happening if I will have hormonal imbalances or hormonal effect, I will not go to up to 70 years. Definitely, the number of the years which our lifespan will reduce, right? So that's how it uh, affects our body. Okay. Yeah, because the organ get damaged. Positive feedback, positive feedback system, effector work to increase the effect and trigger the response. These systems are less common in biological system and play a part of homeostasis. One example is the concentration of the uh, uterus during the labor or giving birth. The pressure of baby's head is then pushed, uh, sorry, the pressure of baby's head on the cervix causes the release of the chemicals that increases the contraction of the uterus as the head is then pushed down even harder. That is positive control. Checkpoints. 
controlling the heart and breathing rate okay sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system yes look how the heart and breathing is controlled look heart and breathing is controlled or brain part we have discussed the brain part i have told you the nervous system that <clears throat> it pumps control the respiration and medulla oblongata control the heart rate look a sensory nerves it's coming sensory nerves increase in the blood pressure detected by the carotid uh, carotid baroreceptors common carotid artery it can it increases the blood pressure there is one more what is Paral carotid artery carotid artery it is found in the our heart it's a type of artery what is it, it actually it takes the blood to our brain part to the brain it, yeah it, it it look this is aortic arc remember aortic arc yeah this will go down it, it will become aorta this aortic arc the three uh, one of the called, called clavicle artery it takes to the uh, uh, this uh, this region uh, ankle region clavicle artery carotid artery it takes to the brain remember yes yeah and parasympathetic nerves it reaches to the where right atrium part and i told you that's how it control the heart beat with the help what of parasympathetic uh, nerve this is a nerve which originate from the directly from the brain okay. it control the heart beat and what is terminal ganglion the ganglion means the joint of the uh, joint of the number of the uh, uh, neurons is called ganglion okay it's not that's called ganglion so the structure is about um, heart rate yeah it control the heart rate okay. number of the neuron okay. joint and they they make a ganglion then ganglion make a nerve so that's how the heart is controlled adrenaline hormone which also control our heart rate the same thing is mentioned the same story is mentioned over here nothing else is uh okay uh respiratory part is given over there <coughs> so let me tell you response to demand the fine control of the heart rate in the mammals demonstrated directly important of the having different receptor that detect the internal changes first a internal changes b the way with the parasympathetic nerve system and sympathetic nerve system work together to complementary way c interaction between the nervous and hormonal control so there are three way that's how the heart is controlled in mammals right you learned how the intrinsic rhythm of the heart is controlled by the impulses instilled by the sinoatrial node sa node and is spread to the arterio ventricular node av node and the bundle of his give a regular coordinate heartbeat but the intrinsic rhythm cannot cope up with the changes the demand for example during the exercise more oxygen must be carried the rapid respiration muscles tissue and the waste of the carbon dioxide and lactate accumulate in the muscle fiber to remove the once exercise spot or the body must return to the normal the response of the heart is to these changes and and demand result in the number of the negative feedback right changing the output when your body demands more glucose and oxygen the heart responds to the waves the rate which the heart beat increases also heart pulse can increase in the more afaf i i i i want you to go through it right there is nothing to uh, explain much more it's a just okay. normal it's nothing technical clear yes uh, all of it the rest of the chapter so, sorry you have to the, do the whole of the rest of the chapter no 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 you have to do it from here till here this till this point by yourself okay then this is different chapter breathing simply response of the breathing system or exercise right this one actually this is this belong to respiratory system 
and hard disk will take uh, 20 25 minute to finish me 